If you're somebody who makes fitness a priority or you're somebody who wants to make fitness a priority, our posture is where it all begins. Jane Jones is a bar instructor extraordinaire and she joins us now to tell us about five exercises we can do for our posture today to improve it. Why is our posture so important to begin with? Well, it, it's, it's important for a number of reasons. Really, it plays a big part in how we stay healthy. Um, keeping bones and joints, um, the stronger you form everything from head to heel, the longer it's gonna hold you upright as you get older. Absolutely, and as we do get older, gravity starts to make us go like this. Oh yes, it? your shoulders want to cave. And as moms, we're constantly leaning over to pick yes. up our little ones over the crib. Over yes. the, or holding them on one hip. Yes. You know, instead of, you know, for switching it to the other side. So lots of hip problems can come in. You know, that's why you always want to have a strong core. So one thing I like to say is try to get those bony landmarks in place. So like your ear and your shoulder and your hip, right? Mm -hmm. You've got one five exercises for us. What's number one? Okay, so number one, so we're going to face the center of the room. We're going to reach for our ball in pure bar. We have light resistance equipment, so this is a light resistance ball. So we're going to walk back into the bar, feet hip width apart parallel, light grip. Then walk forward until you're on a slight diagonal. Bend your knees, sink your seat down toward knee level, feet are hip width, ball between the thighs. Bring the hands to your hips. Draw your abs in, tuck them under, one squeeze, one pulse down. One squeeze, one pulse. So feeling how you have to engage your core just to keep yourself upright. Totally. We like now, to say, pretend the bar is not even behind you. That's how you want And that's how you're going to work your posture muscles as well, really, right? Like your core. Yeah, shoulders and down and back, chest so, up down. So, because when you do this, if you're following along at home, you can do your legs. It's so not easy. But it's also a great posture it exercise, is. too, it is. isn't it? Right? So keep the hips under the shoulders. Like a wall behind us and in front of us to keep us from wiggling around too. Yeah, so basically working head to heel, working your core, working your inner and outer thighs, also working your abs with this. Now, if you don't have a ball at home, you could even use a, a couch cushion. Oh, sure, sure. 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 Okay, sure. what's next? All right, stand it up. Ball can go to the side. Ooh, I was feeling that one. <laughs> okay. Pick it up with your two, double it up, and you're going to turn your left hip to the bar. Double up your resistance tube, step into the tube, and place it right above your thighs. So if the tube was ever too much, we would just tell you to modify and not use it. Perfect. All right, left hand to the bar, right hand to your hip, heels together, toes apart, important. Rise to your tippy toes, bring Feel your like heels a ballerina together. here. Bend your knees, sink your seat down toward knee level, lower the heels to a hover, heavy tailbone, one press out on the tube, one pulse down, press. Pulse. So not so bad here, right? You still have to use your core. Uh -huh. You stay perfectly upright, working the inner and outer thighs. And I love pairing this with breath as well. Yes. Really those deep Thinking corset inhales muscles. inhales and exhales. All right. Now, big breath. Hold the press. Hold the pulse. Big range. Seat goes down to the heels. Halfway up and hold. So you want to slide straight down and straight up. Awesome. I love those lovers in my toes. Making sure the heels never come apart, try not to sit at the bottom. Yeah. So using your entire core to lower and lift yourself up. We're in a little elevator, yes. going up and down. Okay, what's next, Jane? All right, so done with that one. Taking the tube off, and then this time, no equipment, we're gonna turn to face the bar. Stand tall, hold your core in, light grip with your hands, heels together, toes apart. Lift your right leg, bend your knee, draw your heel to your seat, flex it, slide the right knee back, Soften the left knee, and here we get pull our core in, tight, up and under. Now one lift, one press back. One lift, one press. All right, so as you're doing this, heel tight to the seat. Okay. And you want to avoid- Yes, adjust me. Yeah, you want to avoid not leaning to the left too much. Go to the right, then sink down a little lower. Might get a little bit shaky. Here we go, that's when yeah. you know it's working, yes. right? Yes, and your entire core is engaged. Great, so and I really taller, want my yeah. hip bones going straight forward too and not rolling back. They're gonna wanna roll back. Mine yes. always want to roll yes. back. Keep adjusting yourself and we'll adjust you as well. Okay. All right, right leg down, let's do the left. Heels together, toes apart, right grip. Lift your left leg, bend your knee to your seat. Flex your foot, slide it back, soften the right knee again. Abs in, one lift, one press back. One lift, one press. So inner thigh facing the floor. Beautiful Is this, facing. this makes me feel like a pretzel. What's this called? <laughs> Standing pretzel, actually. That's why. Yeah, so again, let's go to the left a little bit. Even yes, if you have to like a ballerina. And think navel to spine, zip up tight. Press the navel behind the hips. That's how you engage your core. It holds you up. Perfect. Do we have one more? One more exercise. Final All right. exercise. Come to the center of the room, and you're going to come down to your hands and knees. Okay. All right, palms wide to the carpet. And then you're going to extend your left leg straight, bend the knee, draw the heel to the seat, flex your foot. Hips down, soften your elbows. Here we go again, core in tight. Extend the leg, two counts. Leg goes out, two, heel to seat, 
two. Okay, so force the hips and shoulders down like they have headlights. Yes, now, tell now looking in the front mirror. So important to have a flat back. Because what you see on Instagram is girls try to make their booty yeah. look good yeah. and dipping the spine down too right. much. But so, really, yeah. And so we always say use the mirror as your guide. So if you see any arch in the back, that's going to create pressure in the back. But not only that, is you're not engaging your core. Right. So you want to strengthen your core, create that strong foundation. Again, straight line, head to heel. Okay? Perfect. All right. And then hold the heel to your seat. Soften your elbows again. Reconnect with your core. One, press up. Press up, hold. Try to get shaky in the hold. So not only are you working the back of the seat, the back of the hamstring, but this entire core is engaged as well. Totally. So the booty is going to get nice and high and yeah. tight from that hold exercise as well. Yeah. Muscle, <laughs> muscles form the way you work. Fantastic. Well, I really appreciate those five exercises from Cure Bar. You are awesome. Oh, I appreciate it. I'm going to have to incorporate some of those into my oh, really so. workout. to see you here. Very good. Right. And I hope you did as well. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yay. Hit that notification bell so you get notified. The Come next to Pure time. Bar, first class exactly. break. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that you get notified the next time we release a video. Have a great day and a big thanks to Pure Bar. Oh, thank, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Have a great day.